Welcome to today's tutorial. So, uh, for, the, for those people that have not yet subscribed to my channel, uh, make sure that you do so because you end up missing the videos that I'm going to be uh, posting. So, subscribe to the channel now. And then, uh, I'm also uh, saying uh, I wasn't making the videos because I got uh, I was busy, but I've continued making the videos now. Yeah, so let's uh, let's look at the first question. This one, this one is saying two to the power x is equal to zero point two five. So this one is simple and straightforward. You can just convert this zero point two five to a fraction, which is just simple and straightforward. We can say this is two x, and then converting that zero point two five to a fraction, we simply just divide uh, this by hundred. Why am I dividing by 100? We go back to grade 5 methods of conversions. So we do we say since we have two zero two decimal places here, we have one, two, then we divide by one and then we add two zero two zeros since we have two decimal places. So this is just the same as we can write this 2x to be equal to uh, one. Um, okay, so before I write this, when you divide by 100 there, you also multiply on top with 100. So 100 divided by 100, this is a 1. 1 times 0 0.025, 0 0.25 is just the same as uh, not adding anything to this equation. So um, here what I'm trying to say is that you multiply by 100 and divide by 100. So when you multiply 0 0.25 by 100, you get 25. Then divide by hundred so this is just the same as 25 into 25 is 1 25 into 100 we get 4 so this 1 over 4 can also be written as 4 to the power negative 1 which can also be written as 2 to the power negative 2 so now we can equate this 2 to the power x uh, to the 2 to the power negative 2 so according to the rules of indices when the base when the bases are the same then the powers or the exponents are also the same so since 2 is equal to 2 there meaning x is also equal to uh, negative 2 okay so let's quickly move on to the next question so this one says 5 to the power 2 to the power 2x minus 5 is equal to 125. So how do you solve this? So we we try by all means to make the base, I mean to make the bases the same. So here we have 5. We also need to make this side to have 5 as the as the base. So we say uh, this side we have 5 raised to power 2x minus 5 then we also have this being equal to so this is equal to and then we have 125 this 125 can also be written as 5 to the power uh, 3 so since the bases are equal it means that the powers are also equal so we say 2x minus 5 is equal to 3 so when this 5 goes to the other side of the equal sign, we have 2x is equal to 3 plus 5. So this 2x is nothing but equal to 8. So when you divide both sides by 2, you have your solution or your value of x to be equal to uh, 4. So this is how simple these questions are. Let's quickly move on to this one. Alright. So for this question, you should pay particular attention because uh, there's something that you need to know. There's something that I'm going to introduce which you need to know and understand. So on this one, the first thing that you need to do is you look at this, you have 3 to the power x. So you, um, you try by all means to make... Um, this also to be 3 to a power x 
or to factor out something from this first term there so that you have 3 to the power x somewhere so how do we do that so we can say 3 to the power x then we say this we raise it to power so we raise this to the power 2 then we have minus 12 then we have 3 to the power x we write it there then we have plus 27 this is equal to zero so we can now let uh, 3 to the power x be equal to any variable so myself I'm going to choose y so we say let 3 to the power x be equal to uh, y Okay, let 3 to the power x be equal to y and then apart from that I, I mean after that what is 3 to the power x there you can put y so you can put y in that equation so this side you say let and then what is 3 to the power x there you can put y so you're going to have something like this y squared minus 12 y squared minus 2 of y plus 27 is equal to 0 so here is just the matter of solving the quadratic equation so we find two numbers that when multiplied they will give us uh, 27 and then when we add them they will give us negative 12 and these numbers are simply just 3 and 9 so since this 12 is negative we we'll say negative 3 and 9 negative 9 so we're going to say y squared negative 3y and then negative 9y and then we say plus uh, 27 so all this will be equal to 0 so from there we can now also say I mean we can now factorize here so I'm going to factor out the y and then we have y minus 3 We have y minus 3 in brackets like that. Then we say minus 9. Then we have y minus 3. So we have y minus 3 there in brackets. I don't know why my, my laptop has started performing but i'll try my best to write what i can manage so we put uh, the factors together there so we say y minus 3 there and then we have uh, and then we have y minus 9 and then this is all equal to 0 so when you simplify that you're going to have your value of y to be equal to uh, 3 okay, this is 3 then your other value of y is going to be equal to your other value of y is going to be equal to 9 Yes, so you're going to have your value of y to be equal to 3, the other value of y is going to be 9. Yeah, so 
after doing that the other thing that you need to do there is you recall now we remember we said 3 to the power x is equal to y so where there is y here we can put 3 to the power x so we say 3 to the power x is equal to 3 then we also say 3 to the power x is equal to 9 so since the bases are the same it means that the powers are also the same so in the first case here our value of x is equal to 1 then in the second case there we can say 3 to the power so you can say 3 to the power x is nothing but equal to 3 squared which is 3 to the power 2 okay 3 to the power 2 gives you 9 so since the bases are also equal here so meaning the value of x there is nothing but uh, 2 so if you want to prove that these solutions are correct you can try to put um, your values of x there you see if you get a 0 alright so thank you very much for watching today's tutorial uh, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel kindly do so so that you don't miss out the videos that i'm going to be posting see you in the next tutorial video shalom shalom